Welcome to NI MIDAC. This is a brief introduction to the MIDAC product. First off, what's a DAC? Well, DAQ is an abbreviation for Data Acquisition. As its name suggests, we are accumulating or acquiring data from somewhere. Some kind of real-world process that generates signals of interest. These signals might be physical properties such as pressure, temperature, uh, maybe fluid flow rate, position, and so on. Lots and lots of possibilities there. Well, these physical signals pass through sensors and signal conditioning, ultimately getting turned into a voltage and a current, which can then be passed through an analog to digital conversion process. Once it's in digital form, then it's conveniently um, uh, available to a computer. So that's the data acquisition part. We acquire these signals for processing and analysis in the computer. Now we also like to be able to go the other direction as well. A digital to analog conversion could take signals from the computer, amplify them, pass them through some sort of physical transducers and other actuators, and take these signals, ultimately getting things like changes in temperature, maybe manipulating pressure and position and so forth, and this can then be used to influence or control the real world process. Now my DAC itself fits pretty much in this zone right here. It focuses on voltages and currents and we are dealing with uh, analog and digital conversions. So a little more specifically then, what is NI my DAC product all about? This is the interface box right here. This is connected by USB cable to your computer. Other products that are included with your MIDAC purchase are the 20 terminal screw, screw terminal connector and associated screwdriver. This connects the electrical signals in and out of MIDAC. It also comes with a digital multimeter. These are the probes associated with the multimeter that includes the voltmeter, ammeter for measuring current, and ohmmeter for measuring resistance. Your MIDAC product also includes a stereo audio cable, and this allows you to work with audio signals directly. Well, let's look at the specific characteristics of multimeter. So this is looking at the uh, bottom face of MIDAC. These two terminals are associated with the voltmeter and ohmmeter specifically. Always pay attention to the markings on MIDAC that tell you things like maximum values. Never connect MIDAC to voltages higher than what you see here. These two terminals are associated with measuring current and again do not subject MIDAC to more than one amp of current. Now, when you connect MIDAC to your computer, the NI Elvis MX instrument launcher fires up automatically, and so you can click DMM, and then you see this instrument panel right here. We have DC volts, uh, AC volts, DC amps, AC amps, resistance, and some additional measurements associated with diodes and continuity of wires. Now if you turn my DAC on its side, we have various signal connections and the power supplies. We have audio input and output. And these are stereo connectors. You can apply standard line level audio to the audio input and generate standard line level out. We have two channels of analog outputs. These have a range of plus minus 10 volts for the output and they have a maximum of two milliamp current drive. We also have two analog input channels. These analog inputs are differential. So we have both a pl plus side and a minus side. So we're, we're measuring the potential difference between those two inputs. The analog inputs have a plus minus 10 volt range and again, that's indicated right there on the, on the face of MIDAC. 
we have eight digital IOs or digital input output connections and these generate 0 to 3.3 .3 volts out. The 0 and 5 means that while my DAC expects 0 to 3.3 .3 volts in, it can tolerate up to 5 volts for the input. We have a number of power supplies available. The 5 volt power supply can generate up to 100 milliamps. We have a plus or minus 15 volt power supply and each of these can generate 32 milliamps. Should point out that since MyDAC is a USB powered device, there is an overall limit on the amount of power you can extract from all of the outputs and that number is 500 milliwatts. So from all outputs, that's your upper limit. Let's look at the software tools you have for interacting with the MyDAC product. The digital multimeter provides uh, DC and AC volts, DC and AC amps, an ohmmeter function, diode and continuity measurements. The oscilloscope allows you to observe the signal coming in on either of the two analog channels and, and setting up a picture of the waveform. We have a number of controls for manipulating the display and making some basic measurements on the waveforms. The function generator produces these standard shapes. You can set the frequency, amplitude, and offset. The Bode analyzer can be used to plot the frequency response of a circuit or filter. You can see the gain and phase response. The dynamic signal analyzer shows you the real-time frequency content of a signal that you apply to the inputs. Some other instruments available include the arbitrary waveform generator. You can load up a waveform pattern from a file and then produce this as a periodic waveform. You also have a waveform editor making it very convenient to create uh, either simple or, or very complicated wave shapes that you might need. In terms of the digital outputs and inputs, we have something for reading the state of the digital inputs or setting the state of the output lines. Now another way that you can work with the NIMIDAC product is through direct LabVIEW programming. All of the Elvis MX instruments look like uh, built-in sub-VIs that you can place into your design. Also uh, looking, again, this is the Elvis MX palette. Under the uh, DAC MX palette you have a whole range of low-level controls as well as an Express VI called DAC Assistant that makes it very convenient to set up uh, many different types of data acquisition and control tasks. This is just a very brief introduction to NIMIDAC and I encourage you to visit ni.com slash MIDAC for uh, additional information.